good morning everyone i think hope you all guys are doing very well so in the today's class we will see mathematics uh, 12th standard that is uh, m from the m1 part first chapter we will go through this okay that is mathematical logic and this mathematical logic is helpful for je mains as well for mh and cet those guys who are attending for that guys this is a very important so <clears throat> i request you guys please watch this lecture till the end also do like and share this video so that the maximum people students can reach this content and everyone will get benefit from this okay we will start with this i hope you will subscribe the channel hit the like button and share with your friends okay so that our channel will also grow so please now attend uh, please keep focus on this okay this is all the first slide right so the syllabus for the m1 it contains this from that is mathematical logic right so this mathematical logic which we are going to take in the today's class okay we will cover this uh, as per exam point of concern this will ask around 2 to 3 marks so but even though see even though mark weightage is less but you should this is a very important and helpful for other topics and your your any higher education career this subject this mathematical language logic you should know so that you can quickly write everything um, in short in mathematical form okay so you want a sentence you can convert it into the mathematical form that thing we will see in the today's class okay this is what the first that is mathematical logic which we are going to see in the today's the second okay this, these are the topics which you should study okay now we will focus on this first that is our today's that is mathematical uh, <coughs> logic okay so in the, uh, the the content concerned in this so we after the end of this class we should able to answer uh, this all questions of this okay so what is the statement what is the sentence see we are talking about sentence statement right uh, day to day in the life but actually what that state statement what is the sentence what is the difference in that there are many types of the sentence that thing also we will discuss in the today's class okay so uh, if you have any questions uh, please ask or put in a comment so that i will uh, reply to that comments and i will <laughs> after knowing we know then i will able to answer your <coughs> doubts i will try to clear your doubts okay so <coughs> so so the contents right so this is what the contents uh, now the fourth is whether given sentence is statement sentence is statement or not that thing also we will discuss logical connectivities all these doubts logical connectivities what is the compound statement truth table what is truth table is very important and this is what very very uh, uh, let me give the star mark here for this because this is very important so uh, the main a topic or main focus is on this truth table we will study in short i am trying to explain okay because see the time is so short and uh, i request you guys please take a screenshot of all these slides so that you will get everything each and every concepts clear so i have many i have spent too much time to prepare this all slides okay all contents so that uh, you guys you guys should be able to answer all these questions right also the concept of tautology contradiction contingency what the quantifiers is switching circuit in the last we will see okay so so let me start let <coughs> so now so this chapter starts from statements okay this is what the starting of the chapter and <coughs> and given sentence is statement or not that we will answer now in shortly okay so this will ask for one or two marks this topics will okay sentence means okay only this topic okay the, the throughout topic is around five to six marks but this topic will ask in the exam for one or two marks okay uh, so so in the in the see is the sentence means work okay in the hindi i am trying to written here okay the sentence now what are the types of sentence so the the sentence is first one is a declarative it is also called as assertive right the imperative these are the five types of imperative exclamatory interrogative and open sentence these are the five types of sentences 
so the given sentence is statement or not on this okay your mark is depend so you should know see in the throughout this chapter we are there are many types of sentence so so this uh, so declarative is also sentence imperative is also sentence okay exclamatory but among all these whether that sentence is a statement or not okay we have to check right with the help of example i will try to explain you these things whether the given uh, uh, given sentence is a statement or not okay so the among these five types of sentence uh, the only statement is this is what if our sentence is declarative or assertive then and then only our sentence become statement okay this thing you should keep mind if our sentence is imperative exclamatory interrogative or open sentence then it will not be statements so only the declarative sentence become statements okay i think i hope you understood what i am trying to Uh, teach you now okay now we'll see the example okay just we'll go through the example suppose one example he is a boy right yes this is a declarative or assertive sentence okay and he is a boy is a statement also now the next okay if it is a as a declarative or assertive sentence then it will be statement also right so now the second example so this is a, st a statement right so see here now are you crazy right so this is what the interrogative sentence uh, sentence sorry it is a it is a uh, exclamatory okay it is exclamatory sorry here i have written wrong exclamatory sentence so apart from declarative sentence any other sentence is not a statement okay so are you a crazy it is not a it is not a statement right so close the window it is a imperative sentence so this is also not a statement right how beautiful you are right like exclamatory so this is also not a statement right so in all above examples only sentence is just now what i explained right only sentence is declarative then it is called statement else it is a not a statement i hope you understood what the difference between this statement and sentence when our sentence becomes statement right that's thing you understood see that this is a very very interesting and uh, in whenever you go for a higher education this is what the base right with the help of this okay your english vocabulary also increases also this help us you to improve your uh, improve your <coughs> uh, the mathematics also okay so any sentence become a statement must be declarative so it is called meaning of declarative means so so now we have seen what the meaning of the declarative that thing we will now discuss we understood now up till now what we understood if the, our st uh, statement uh, our sentence is declarative or assertive then our uh, uh, s this uh, sentence becomes a statement right so now we will see what this declarative meaning so what the meaning of this declarative so any sentence become a uh, any sentence be any sorry any sentence to become a statement must be a declarative means l so what the meaning of this declarative so declarative has two meanings right right any sentence has uh, two values uh, it is any sentence has truth value right and this truth value has two that is either the sentence is true or false right see here in the in the in the previous example right so here <clears throat> he is a boy is a statement right so he is a boy this statement may be true or false right this will fall in two categories it doesn't mean he is a boy means the, the this this may she may be girl also so he is a boy means uh, it has two right uh, it has two meaning he either he is a boy or not if it is a not boy then it is a false right he is a boy this is just only a statement but statement has two meanings either it is true or false right so see here here i already written he is he is a boy right so it may be true or false okay that is the truth value of that statement now now see we have seen among 
five types of sentences right these are the five types of sentences we have seen what the declarative means declarative has uh, truth values either true or false right for the declarative uh, the imperative explanatory interrogative right these are the not throughout this chapter we are discussing only the declarative sentence because the declarative sentence become statement i these are not fall under this category so we are not going to discuss this okay now we'll see what the open sentence is. let me go okay so even the open sentence is also see the he is a good person right he is a good person okay so this here the highlighted words which is in red color highlighted words okay he is a good person who exactly who is the good person okay that thing we don't know right so this is also not a statement so the only the declarative sentence becomes a statement okay so this all other four categories not come under statement okay now i think see in this example also there is a x into 2 is equal to 20 right so he is a good person so here we don't know the exact value of this x right which becomes 20 see a 10 into 2 also or to becomes 20 right so the, the exact value of this x i can put anything also here x so <laughs> whenever there is we, do, we don't know the answer right so he who exactly who right that it doesn't become seven why he is a good person but who exactly who that who is that person right we don't know that right so it is a not statement right so anybody anybody person can be can become right and comes under this he so this is an open sentence also not a statement okay now coming to the our mathematical topics and up till now i think i hope you understood this in this if you have any doubt please ask so that we can move ahead okay any doubts no problem no nothing okay we'll move go on okay shall we go on okay now see in the next is the next concept is about logical connectives right what are the logical connectives see these logical connectives logic means i know i think you understood what the logic or what connectivity is meaning right so i no need to explain so i i hope all the 12th student standards students i request you guys to always try to learn in english language okay don't go for any other in our because see the everything we are we have our our understanding is in english right so the the writing is also in english so don't go for any other languages so try to understand this even though i those if you are putting in a comments please explain me in hindi then i'll explain in hindi also okay so so put it in the comments uh, aisa nahi lagna chahiye okay to fir mai mai agar hindi mein bolu to hindi mein baat kar sakta hu aisa kuch problem nahi but uh, if i talk in english then it will be better for you guys as well as okay for others also uh, uh, for the understanding of, so even in, whenever you move on to the higher education that time that kind uh, if you are in uh, your local language then it will be very difficult right so we should understand it in english which is a uh, uh, throughout world accepted language right so if we try to consume the uh, uh, the words statements uh, sentences in our in English language it will be very helpful for the higher studies also okay uh, I, sh I will come in on the topic right now now, now where we are logic what the logical connectivities are okay this is one concept in this mathematical logic what we will see that see the connective means connection right so to and is connection right so the symbol for this is like this okay and it is a compound symbol it is a conjunction okay the second is or uh, it is a inverted it is a v and it is a inverted v right so or is also c it is also connective not is also a connective or it is a negation right so the symbol sometimes uh, denoted like this also okay so this is what the negation the fourth is a connective that is if if then okay with the help of the example i'll try to explain you first you keep in remember if then there is a there then you have to show this arrow like this right i with the help of the example i will try to explain all this for you 
there is also if and only if in short it is written as iff right so if it, there is see here here it is a conditional here is a biconditional means both side satisfaction will be there then then only biconditional this symbol is used see in the mathematics you are not using and or not this connectivity just with the help of the symbol you can understand if the symbol is like this then it is and right if symbol is uh, like we then it is or if it is like this then it is a not okay if we are single side single direction arrow then it is a if then okay so throughout this chapter any sentence must be a statement okay so so if uh, this this is very important throughout this chapter sentence must be a statement only means it comes under a declarative just now we have explained i hope you guys understood this this is a very important thing okay <clears throat> now now what the compound statement is right whenever there is a two sentence combining that kind that time it is called two sentence combining then it is called okay the combined means see here mango is a fruit and potato is a vegetable the mango is a fruit is a one sentence right and potato is a vegetable right this is another sentence now convert the statements into mathematical form how I, I could convert this statement see first let p i will take mango is a fruit and q potato is a vegetable right so i can write this like this so write p okay for the and for the for and this is inverted v for and p q right means mean this uh, mango is a fruit and potato is a vegetable okay just a minute i'll take a phone hello 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 hi akarane ki pratiha sa pratiha na chhutta na wala class to wala ha pratiha na chhutta na wala gate dil band dil ठीक है जीड प्रतिक्रिया ना स्कूटर ना देखा था ना ओके मैंगो इज अ फ्रूट एंड पोटेटो इज अ वेजिटेबल राइट सो इफ सरफेस एरिया इंक्रीजेस सो द सेकंड एग्जांपल इफ सरफेस एरिया इंक्रीजेस देन प्रेशर डिक्रीजेस राइट सो सी हियर इफ राइट इफ देन this is coming right if the surface area increases the pressure decreases here also what i will do i will take p if the sur surface area increases i will take surface area increases i will take it as a p and pressure decreases i'll for the pressure decrease i will take q okay i hope you understood this concept what the logical energy and compound statement okay this is just a little concept but you should know this how to connect the statements right just me pratik just me Okay, now we'll move on. I think every uh, till the time everything is fine, right? So, so where we are? Just a minute. Uh, yes, right. The Q and Q, right? You understood this statement. These are very simple, right? So, the, what the compound statement? Just we have to convert it into mathematical mathematical form. Okay, here see this is also there are two types of sentence uh, statements, right? One is a simple and other one is a compound statement. Okay, a sentence that conveys only one idea and can be assigned a truth value, right? That is what simple. And in compound statement, sentence that combine two or more simple statements, okay, that is assigned by a truth value. Okay, now very. Uh, important okay this so just now we have seen right the negation the symbol we have seen this is what the negation symbol right like this this is what the negation symbol negation means negative opposite see t for true and f for false here 
right i hope in this slide everything will be you are very clear right so you, you will get everything here no need to explain also so that i will i'll try to make the slides in such a way that you don't have any problems in this okay so in the or or you know for the or symbolic v here right for and the symbol is inverted v right if then then this arrow will be if then and for if and only if then this will be arrow which directs in both the directions okay see here the negation this is what the truth table concept right so these are okay uh, these are the symbols right the negation or and if then right that's now we have seen what these are the connective words right so with the help of the, that connectives right these are the connectives that is negative or negation or and if then if then the only these are the okay so in the negation see here uh, the p right uh, the <sighs> let me sit comfortably so that i would like to deliver you a better and better way okay see here in the negation okay see p is one my uh, statement okay now i i won't call as a sentence okay now my sentence become a statement because throughout this chapter okay if there is a statement then we are we are uh, then we are studying this right the only my whenever only my state sentence is statement then and then only we are studying this everything right so so okay now <laughs> sorry the negation truth these are the truth tables okay we already seen what the truth values with the help of that we will see this truth table now this p is my statement okay like this anything is here here this is my p is statement okay this p mango is a fruit like this here p is a statement the negation of this p is like if a mango is a fruit my negation is mango is not a fruit that, that is a false right if i from p to negation of the p then true becomes false false becomes true like this okay means the negation of t is which is equivalent to this f the negation of f which is equivalent to this t now <coughs> the or so the or has it, it is a two it should two sentence right so in that two sentence okay in that statement the first one is p other one is q right <coughs> see except this negation all other connectivities these connectivities right has a two sentences that is p is one sentence q is one sentence like i have seen here right this is p and this is q right so this uh, p q so so if i this is r right p or q means whenever this comes the true see for the p is a true statements and q is also true statement then it will come t right if t is uh, if this statement is also true and this statement is false then this also or is also comes under true right so only whenever there is a both statements are false then this or this comes under false right this should you have to keep in mind now we are in and in and if my statement is true first statement and second is also true then it will be true otherwise it will become false even a single statement is false in and that is a congestion truth table and all other is false right so in if then statement just now we have seen for if then also one example we have seen right which one is that see if then if pressure here increases then pressure decreases right and if pressure decreases surface area is also increases then this will come vice versa right it is a one conditional only but it is a biconditional means if pressure decreases then surface area increases right this mathematical expression indicating this i hope you understood okay let me move ahead because th there is a lot shortage of time that's why we need to all right so 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 these slides are very very important i request you guys please take a screenshots and study
okay and even though if you have any doubts please ask put in a comments so that i will be able to reply this now this is what about the truth table concept right uh, now see uh, if i this form which is a called as a mathematical form i have to convert this into a table how i can convert this 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 will be this feel like this right so mean inverted view means it is or right this is and so the negation of, of p or q and r convert this table right so what the results will be whether it is that this is what the answer right whether it is true or false that what this answer tells us now here i we have three variables this is first one is a three statements i i can call it as three statements this is p is a one statement q is one statement and r is a one statements right so here we have p q r three statements right three statements okay so in the see if it is a three statements see always there is like this if there is a one statement right uh if there is a three statements then uh see for we have to do it 2s2 to raise to 3 right if there is a n statements right which is equal to 8 means we have eight eight answers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 8 uh, of probabilities right so if it is a three statements so if there are n if if there are if there are n statements right if there are n statement then it is a 2 raised to n okay like this options or the columns you have to increase if suppose for example again if there is a two statements right so n is equal to 2 if the two statement the n is equal to 2 right so i'll write 2 raised to 2 that is i have 4 right this will be my the table will be for like this comes okay so you are, i think hope you guys understood this right we have three statements now i have taken the first statement is true second statement is also true and third statement is also true right so if i take p uh, <coughs> p or q right so now i am taking only this p and q this two column i am comparing i am writing the results of this right so just now we will add in like this we are convert and we are result, write the final results like this okay i think this thing also you will understood okay now there is a, one more concept that is see from the if my results all this comes in only the t okay this is what the, the tautology means all this is always true it is true for every assignment of the truth right the value it is a simple compound so now contradiction okay what the contradiction is always false the all see in, in this in this column all if all is coming f then it is a contradiction right and the contingency is neither false let me put a i here okay neither false nor true right so it may be in uh, <laughs> that case it is called contingency okay now with the with this almost uh, 60% of the syllabus i have tried to cover okay we will see 40% now in the next upcoming slides right see here it, if it is a satisfiable this comes under tautology right if it is a contradiction okay which is unsatisfiable and in between it is a called conti contingent right so now moving to the next topic that is a quantifiers there are two quantifiers okay <laughs> see quant <coughs> quantifiers are the words that refers to quantities right some all it tells how many elements predict true right so there are two types what one is a universal quantifiers and the other is existential quantifiers okay so so the so in the universal quantifier right see the symbol for this is like this invert a right so in the mathematics we will write if there is a written like this right so what this meaning of this is for all like this for all right similarly here there exist if there is a invert v e like e like this okay so this is there exist right so if only there is a written in the mathematics like this symbol for all inverted v okay for there exist 
okay you understood i think okay these are the symbols which are and this symbol is called universal quantifier and this is a existential control whether that thing is exists or not right with the example we will see in the next slides here uh, there is one duality also the principle of the duality state that s and t okay see what this in short i will try to explain you this is a slide just now i have put but uh, in the okay in the duality see whether it is a, a true or not right that thing explains about uh, the duality right so okay this is what about the duality now uh, this is a very important and this should you should keep in remember in the, with the help of the formulas also right so this is a very important these there are many other there are furthermore two i think involute laws is also there okay see the first law is that is the idempotent law okay idempotent law the second is associated see in the idempotent law p or p which is equivalent to p right p and p also equivalent to p in associative laws right see here p or q right or r which is equivalent to p or q or r like this these are the laws also commutative laws is also there distributive laws is also there de morgan's law identity identity laws complement laws right these are the laws okay so this comes under algebra of statements right so uh, so so the almost okay almost i try to complete the 90% syllabus of this okay even though i am taking too much fast okay what i will do in the next class i will try to explain you more in deep, uh, depth also <laughs> because see the slides which i have prepared since the morning i am trying to prepare the slides for you guys so it's a responsibility to become please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel okay this much is sufficient for this topic that is matter the first chapter for the 12th class science okay this is very helpful for je students right uh, one or two marks is all uh, we should ask on this so you should be well prepared with this topic and this is what the basic topics okay see we are going too much deep level in the mathematics in our higher studies so but you should before that so if you already moved to higher studies but you should know this mathematical logics right so you you do you see the, these symbols which are very interesting right uh, this you build this mathematics build up your uh, your mind uh, your your aptitude it will build up your aptitude right so in order to build your aptitude this the basic concept you should know right so these laws you should keep remember all these laws okay now the the this is what the last topic of this mathematical logic okay so in the logical circuit see this is also very simple so so what in the logical circuit and switching circuit so if see if this is line is like straight okay this switch is just a button right switch means button in the home we are using right so whether it is on or off that thing we should ch check okay the schematic and the schematic it will showing like this okay it is a closed switch and this if this is like this then it will be open switch right so <clears throat> so this is a logical uh, so the the switches may be series or parallel right so please read this very carefully take a screenshot of the slides i'll okay now here also see just now we have seen right so the pq if suppose s1 yes i will take it this also s1 yes s1 yes dash right so it is a negation means see this is true or false we can call for the true switch is over switch is closed and for the for the false switch is open like this right so p i will take s1 is closed and q i will take s2 is uh, closed right like this so it is is a mathematical form if i would like to write then how i can write so if see here for this circuit diagram electric circuit diagram right so i like i will write this like this okay so if i write the switching table of this see from this circuit i converted right so here see here p that is s1 right s1 or this q or the negation of p negation of the p means we have already seen what the negation of the p is that is it is equivalent to negation of p means it's a false means if it is open it is then the circuit is closed already like this right the negation so 
from this circuit diagram right by assuming this s1 is p and s2 is q then p q the negation of p negation of q okay i will make a prepare a switching table okay see this circuit i try to explain in the mathematical form like this right the only the circuit which is showing a big i'll explain it in mathematically now switching table right if switch is open then it will t right t means true if it is closed then it is false right so again in the computer input output language okay the table we can write for the t if it is true then i will call it as one if it is a false we will call it as a zero right so p q negation of p negation of q right so so if t it is a one these are the one and the same table but computer language should understand this right one and zero it, they don't understand that either it is true or false we call for the true if the switch is open and it call i vice versa you can say if it is closed you can take but it, you should know what you call that's why under, i put here let okay i can see for q i can call this as s1 but you should know for for which see you, what is your what is your name right you should your names till the end of the life your name is fixed right but it will not never change in between you are trying to change then it is very difficult to call you right so once you fix your name then it is like this example right so i think you understood this switching table okay the examples is also there and see here from this from this mathematical form we are converting this switch table and this input table right so from the switching table from the only the circuit diagram right so the, with the help of the circuit diagram right we can convert this like this also right in a mathematical form just somebody is giving you okay this is example from the one of the um, question paper okay which i tried to put here okay you can convert from three table to like this okay these are the just symbols or connectivities just what we have seen now okay this is the last question in the mathematical logic okay i tried to cover the 100% topic okay in short time keep all the slides with you screenshots and try to understand the concepts if you have any doubts okay uh, or solve many and many more questions from the exercise okay uh, i hope you like this lecture okay guys thanks and <clears throat> i would like to prefer you a book for this mathematics and statistics for m1 that is a bal bharti right from the 12th class you can refer that book which is a very important in the next topic we will see the matrices okay uh, so uh, before uh, ending the class i would like to request you again please hit the like button share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay guys thank you bye take care